Shalom, giving all the praises to you. Hello, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaqa, Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. <clears throat> <clears throat> Forgive me for my horse, my, 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 um, I'm horse right now. That's why the voice sounds <clears throat> like the way it does. <clears throat> anyway, I came across this video. I'm going to entitle this video. If you um, broke the Sabbath in any way, the penalty is death. So if the law, the laws were truly in effect, we'd all we'd all be die because one way or another you broke the Sabbath. One way or another. Also, um, you know, like having. Uh, Sexual relations, you cannot have sexual relations on the Sabbath day or any high holy days that are deemed a Sabbath. You had certain feast days that were not Sabbath days. They were days to enjoy, but the most of them were like the Passover. The, the first day, that night, the 14th day, based upon the new moon, which is a, a dark moon, you would count 14 days, the 14th day at evening, which is the 15th day, which is, uh, it also falls on a regular Sabbath. The, 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 fifth, the 15th day is the second Sabbath of the moon cycle, as you can understand. Uh, you cannot cook you cannot cook, I repeat, you cannot cook or kindle a fire on the Sabbath day. So now, in Galatians, uh, was it Galatians 6, I'm not going to go to it. If not 5, it's 6. It says, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. If, if a fellow Israelite is going off, it's up to you to restore them. Tell them that they're going off. Scriptures speak about rebuking and reproving, right? So I came across this video, and all of what I'll do is I'll play it again. Do you know what today is? It's the Feast of New Moon. According to Sirach 43, 6 through 8, we know it's the new moon when we look up at full moon out. So because have a day, that means there's no buying and selling and no working. But because it's also a day, that means we can cook. Now I just have one question. Do you know what today is? It's the... You can't, you can't cook. And the full moon is not the new moon. That, that was something that uh, came about in um, 2016 by Bishop Nathaniel. It was October, November of 2016 because as soon as we heard about it, we jumped on it when we did videos on it saying he's definitely going off. So he established uh, uh, IUIC in uh, 20, 2003, so we're talking, uh, we're, talking t we're talking 13 years later, you know, he gets up one day and he says whether he does a study or whatever, whether a vision came to him or a dream came to him and the most angel showed him that uh, the, the new moon is uh, comes in when the full moon comes in. So now if the spirit was with you, why didn't the spirit tell you 13 years before that? You've been in the truth for well over what 30 years 30 plus years that was never taught that way now at the main school one west it was uh taught that the the new moon is a is a is a dark moon and the sabbath is friday sundown the saturday sundown which they went off on the leadership went off on uh the Friday sundown, the Saturday sundown, they got it from the small hats, the Jays, 
because the commandment keepers were working with the Jays. They had to learn a lot from the Jays. And um, the reason why they so-called celebrate the, this Sabbath on uh, Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, Saturday goes into the into the uh, to Saturn, the worship of Saturn, the Saturnalians, which is um, not the Most High. The worshiping of Saturn is not the Most High. I'm not talking about Saturn, the planet. I'm talking about Saturn, the spirit of Saturn, or Saturnalians. So let me let you hear this again. Do you know what today is? It's the Feast of New Moon. According to Sirach 43, 6 through 8, we know it's the new moon when we look up in the sky and we see a full moon outside. So because it's a Sabbath day, that means there's no buying and selling and no working. But because it's also a feast day, that means we can cook. Now I just have one question. Can't cook on the Sabbath, you can't cook on the new moon. You can cook before the, you time it, before the, 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 the end of the day comes in. When the sun goes down, that's when you cease from cooking. The Passover, the preparation for the Passover is the 14th day before the sun goes down. So when the sun goes down and you're still cooking, that's a no-no. And see, they would never correct it because, I, I'm talking about IUIC, because um, they're um, wise in their own conceit. I Meaning we said it goes this way you know it, it it's this is the way it goes because we said it and that's not a good thing because if you're going off and somebody tells you that you're going off you're supposed to consider the matter and do the research and say well I did go off on that the scriptures speak about rebuking a wise man and he will grow even wiser. Matter of fact, let me do this. Well, I, I brief, I briefly quoted it. But uh, another thing concerning the Sabbath, Day of Atonement is a Sabbath. New Moon, which is a, a dark moon, is a Sabbath. They justify. The new moon being a, f a full moon, they'll go into, uh, what is that, uh, um, or just uh, Psalms, uh, it is 81, or 81 verse 3 or 83 verse 1, I think it's 81 verse 3, where it, uh, matter of fact, let me go to it. Another thing that certain Israelite camps do, they say you can have sex on the Sabbath. It says, honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. Okay, this is not what I want. Let me come over to this, this page over here. Right here, Exodus 35 and 3, ye shall kindle no fire, throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. So in order for you to cook, you have to kindle a fire. Oh, well, I got an oven. When you turn the oven on, there's a pilot light that lights up the fire. So there's a fire that you're kindling. The stove top, you turn the fire on. In the ancient world, they didn't have these ovens that we have today. They had to actually take wood oil for the fuel of the fire so um, so anybody that tells you you can cook on the Sabbath because it's a Sabbath or it's a high holy day we get a chance like, like the individual just said from the IUIC you're clearly going off. 
and the penalty for breaking the Sabbath in any way is death. So if the Most High was to, you know, enact these laws, now we'd all be dead. Because one way or another, you broke the Sabbath. That's why we needed a um, a sacrifice, uh, uh, the Messiah. Exodus 35 and 2. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day. So you don't have sex on a holy day. Because when you have sex, it's a pleasure pursuant to uh, Isaiah chapter 58. And number two, you're unclean. If you have sex with a woman, you are unclean until the evening. So you cannot have sex on the Sabbath. When it says keep the Sabbath to make it holy, it's for you to keep yourself holy. A Sabbath of rest to Yahweh, whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. So you had brothers ask questions about uh, the animal sacrifices and uh, you know what about Esau if he breaks the law do we have to do an animal sacrifice first of all we're going to keep close watch on Esau Esau's not going to be able to breathe unless we let him breathe we're going to, they're, going to, they're going to be in hardcore slavery all right they ain't even going to blink their eye unless we sanction that they can blink their eye and that's going to be for a thousand years until we gather them all up and uh, utterly destroy them. And they're all going to be destroyed. So now, if an Edomite commits something as simple as breaking the Sabbath, he or she got put to death. Israelites are not going to be put to death because they're not going to break the Sabbath because they're going to be changed. I was listening to uh, Captain Zazariak. He was on a panel with some Christians. And like I said in my commentary, that he should have had more brothers. Because you have a lot of brothers in the ISUPK. So, you know, the scripture says two or three witnesses. You always, if, you, if you're going to go against certain people, you got to have, even if it's one person that's a Christian, you got to have two or three brothers around you or more. <clears throat> But um, he had made a lot of statements. What did he say? He said, I'm thinking about what he said. What the hell did he say? Well, it'll come back to me. That's why it's good to, um, you know, go to the concordances and concordance strongs or whatever, or the blue letter. So the new moon, you're not to have sex. The, uh, the first day of, of Passover, which is 14, 14 day at evening, which is the 15th day, you do not have sex on that day. And the last day, we call it uh, Passover week. You do not uh, have sex on the last day. But in between that, you can work and you can have sex and you can do what the hell you want to do w within the law. Now, back at One West, High Priest Ariar, he put the, the calendar together. Nobody put the calendar, nobody understood the calendar. And he said uh, they had the Passover, you couldn't have sex. Then the day after that, you had the 15th day on the 16th day, you couldn't have sex. No, you couldn't have sex because of, of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Then the next day, you couldn't have sex because of the Passover, which is the Feast of the Unleavened Bread. So he's going off on that. Then the next day, there was the beginning of the uh, 
the uh, the weeks. Which you, so for three days you couldn't have sex. Which he was going off on that. The first the first day of the Passover is the feast of unleavened bread. The the Passover, which is that night, is a, is the beginning of the feast. It's also known as the feast of unleavened bread or the Passover. So you didn't have sex on that first day and on the last day, the seventh day, which goes into the eighth day. And then that eighth day is a regular Sabbath anyway. Okay, so now right here, right? <clears throat> okay, this is dealing with the uh the manna, the gathering gathering of the manna. And you can only gather for six days, but on the seventh day you cannot gather. It says uh, Exodus 16 verse 23 and he said unto them that that this is that which Yahweh and by the way calling the name of Yahweh is law is by is commanded by law so you're supposed to know the Most High's name in order to keep the laws it tells you in the first the the first 10 about honoring the Most High. How can you honor the Most High if you don't know his name? His name is Yahweh. Half said, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto Yahweh. Bake that which ye will uh, bake today. So you bake, you got double portion. Of uh, you pick, you gather a double portion of the uh, the manna, and you would cook it for two days worth. Because the following day was a Sabbath, so you so you cooked on your regular days, and then that last day you would uh, cook a double portion of that, and you would get, and he would the most I only only give you a double portion. If you try to take a dump more than you had to take on the regular days, it would, those they would turn into, the uh, the manna would turn into worms. So that was the Most High really working. Those are miracles. And see this seethe, meaning cook, bake today, and seethe that ye will seethe. It also means cook. I'm going I'm to go into that. And that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Because the next day you couldn't gather. And the next day, which is the Sabbath day, you couldn't cook. So you would cook twice as much the day before the Sabbath. Let me look up the word uh, seeth. And that was the perfect, that was a super food. That was a perfect food to sustain your life. But you want to have different tastes. You want to taste different things. I'm not going to look up the word bake. Okay, the word seeth. Let's see what the word seeth means. It means to cook. Bashal. To boil, cook, bake, roast, ripen, grow ripe, to boil, cook. 
to sodden, which means to cook. So when they gathered the manna, they cooked it. But on the, the day before the Sabbath, you would cook a double portion. You would gather a double portion, and you would cook a double portion. And then you would eat it the day before the Sabbath and the day of the Sabbath. Then at the end of the Sabbath, you went back to gathering uh, your, uh, your, your, um, your manna. So like I said, when I came across the video, I was like, what? You can't cook on the Sabbath, but because it's a, a, a feast day, you can cook on the Sabbath. No. The new, the new moon is also known as a Sabbath. The Passover is also known as a Sabbath. Which is a rest. You don't the, the reason why these high holy days in the Sabbath you don't you rest, you don't work, because you rest on that day and you serve the most high in the kingdom of heaven. We're not gonna have sex, we're not gonna cook. Nobody's gonna cook in the kingdom. Everything's gonna be shut down. And that day you 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 know, ain't no activity gonna be going on at all. And you didn't just rest all day, you, you worshiped the most high. Didn't didn't I the, the Yahweh Shai do that in Luke uh chapter four? So could he have sex the you know that evening? No. So let me come on back. And you know, there's a problem with uh, you got a lot of people that come in to the Israelites that go into various different camps. And what they do is they can be in the camp being at school for five years, ten years, and not really grow, just learn how to uh, regurgitate what they learn from their from their leadership. And I was never like that, man. I questioned a lot of things, and there were certain things that they had to change because I questioned it. I said, "Well, wait a minute. If this, you know, this happens, this wait, wait a minute, I'll be going off, and it would be." Um, High Priest Ariyah that would look look into it, he would take the time to look into it and say, yep, you're right, we got to change it. The Lord's Prayer was sp spoken, when we used to recite the Lord's Prayer, it was spoken differently until Yohanathan, y'all don't remember Yohanathan, he said that we recite the, the prayer wrong and um, they brought him a council the rest of the seven looked at him sideways, but Ariel looked into it and he said, you know what, this brother's right. It was some minor changes to the, to the Lord's Prayer. Okay, so this, this is how you know that uh, this answers the Sabbath is based upon the new moon. The new moon is a dark moon. It says, uh, and this is uh, 1 Samuel 20, verse 5, and David said unto, so you just can't teach the scriptures and say, keep the laws, and then just say, no, keep the laws. You got to tell them, you got to explain what the law, how the laws work. That's why you had this individual saying you can cook on a, on a, on a new moon because it's a high holy day. No, a high holy day, you, the food is prepared before the sun goes down. And we're going to read that. And said, and David said unto Jonathan, behold, tomorrow is the new moon, which is, this, which is a Sabbath, a holy day, a day that you don't have sex. Keep the Sabbath holy, which includes a new moon. And I should not fail to sit with the king at meat. The meat was cooked when? Before the sun went down, before before the evening. But let me go 
that I may hide myself in the field unto the third day at evening. The third day of what? Of the new moon. Which would be the third day of the first week of the month of moon, the, the moon cycle. Then Jonathan said to David, Tomorrow is a new moon, and thou shalt be missed, because thy seat will be empty. Mind you that you had people that cooked. Remember when they when uh, they wanted a, a king? The Mosai said, Oh, when you have a king, you're gonna they're gonna take from your daughters and your sons to fight in their wars. They're going to take your your daughters to be uh, cooks and confection confectioners, which are, which are bakers. Because back then, your mothers taught the the mothers taught the daughters how to cook and how to keep the house clean and keep the house in order for the for the sake of the man when the man came home. So every Israelite woman knew how to cook. They would they all know how to cook. Cook really cook, not boil water. A black woman today should boil water and burn burn the house down. These women are adults. They're not even women. They're not even women. These women are not even really women. They're subwomen. They're catfish. Remember, said unto the third day. The third day of what? The third day of the week. Well, how's the week? How do, how do you figure when the week comes in? First day of the week, for second day of the week, first day of the week, fourth, third, fourth. It's based upon the new moon. And you had four weeks. Remember, the first new moon, that's a Sabbath. The Sabbath came in on the seventh day at evening. Because you didn't work on a new moon. So David hid himself in the field, and when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to eat meat. The key precept that I want is, and David said unto Jonathan, Behold, Tomorrow is the new moon. That's the first day of the month. Uh, when 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 the the month of Bib, the first month of the year, the moon of the year. That's when you get ready for the Sabbath because you you get the lamb together, you pick out the lamb. That's on the tenth day, and you're preparing the lamb. Then you prepare the lamb. You cook the lamb before the sun went down. Like like I said. And I should not fail to sit with the king at meat, but let me go that I may that I may hide myself in the field unto the third day at evening. So wait a minute, the third day of what? Of the calendar? No, the third day of the new of the new moon. New moon comes in, that's the first day of the, of the new month. So if it was the third day, what what day was it pursuant to the calendar? Because there's no, there, there will be have to be evidence that they were going by two calendars, that they were going by the new moon for the high holy days, but then you had the, a regular calendar, you know, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It didn't work that way. You didn't go to a, a, a uh, go into captivity or go into another nation and ask for a calendar. When the Romans made a Palestine a, a province of Rome they were allowed to keep the, the high holy days they were allowed to speak the, their language and so forth that's the difference between Rome ancient Rome and, and this Rome that we're living in and this Rome they took away the fact that we're Israelites 
So when you say, oh, Friday sundown is Saturday sundown is a new moon, that means they would have to have two calendars. No, there's there's no record of Israelite having two having like a paper calendar and then they're looking up into the sky. And the reason why people can't see that, every last one of you Israelite groups that are teaching that the Friday sundown, the Saturday sundown is a, is a Sabbath, unless it, unless the new moon falls on that day, you're all going off. And because you don't study, the scriptures say, study to show thyself approved, a work, uh, a workman needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. How do you divide the word of truth? By going from precept to precept. So when this man made the statement, oh, we can cook because it's a high holy day or it's a feast. That's, that's, that's nowhere in the scriptures. Because if that was the case, the Passover, you can still be cooking. You can still be, I'm cooking up, I'm, I'm, I'm heating up some more lamb. And then you ate it quickly. Now, what I wanted to do is, I got to come down here. Okay. Psalms 81 verse 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. The new moon is when the moon is dark. And the time appointed on our solemn feast day singular so what day is it talking about is it blow up the the trumpet and the new new moon that's every new moon and the time appointed on our solemn feast day so what feast day is it talking about it doesn't say feast days Scholars will tell you it's either the Passover or the uh, the Tabernacles because uh, which is 14 day going to the 15th day after the new moon. So what is it? So to read it correctly it says blow ye the trumpet in the full moon. Every full, every, I'm sorry, the new moon. This is a different sort. You see the comma there, right? It said, in the time appointed. In the time appointed. So every full new moon, you blew the, blew the trumpet, right? And then you would blow the trumpet for the Sabbath and the high holy days. It should be and on, and on our solemn feast day. Feast day singular. So, did the, did the uh, does the Sabbath come in on a new moon? Or does it come in um, on a full moon? The Passover I'm talking about. The Passover comes in on a full moon because you count count backwards 15 days and you got the new moon, which is a dark moon. You look up into the sky, you see that the moon is dark. So there's a crescent, a, a, sliv a sliver. You say, well, that's the new moon. We know that we got 14 days going into 15 day or 14 days to prepare for the Passover. And you had to wait until the, until the end of uh, the new moon. That next day when the sun goes, the, our calendar is based on, um, they say lunar calendar is based upon the solar lunar calendar. Because how do we count the days? By the sun. How do we count the months? By the moon. And you also count the look at the signs in the moon and the sun and in the stars. Issachar was able to look up into the heavens and and see things. 
that was given to uh, the tribe, of I the Issachar. That's why they made that that um, that calendar. What's it called? The Aztec calendar, whatever they call it. Esau calls it. And then Esau studied that calendar, and he said that uh, based upon this calendar, this place is going to be destroyed in 2012. So Esau got a little nervous. So Issachar was uh, close. But, you know, you do these scriptures, and if another camp goes off, they, they're going to stay going off because their teachers told them one thing, and we're telling you something completely different. See, it's not about telling people to keep the laws. It's about uh, showing them, teaching them the laws. Did not Ezra do that? Did not he call all Israel and read every law? That's where the po the podium, the uh, the pulpit, that was built for Ezra. And preachers don't even know that. Ask a preacher that who who set up the first pulpit. They don't know because they don't read the apocrypha. And when you in front of that pulpit, you're supposed to be teaching the laws. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.